Hi guys, Venespix here. Hello, my brothers and sisters of YouTube. Today we are going to speak about yet another Google camera mode. So are you surprised? Mm, I thought so. I'm not going to say like the video and I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to my channel because I know that you're gonna do the right thing. Going back to the video today. So today I want to present to you the Gcam burial mode, right? So another yet Russian mode, which is based on the Rearnix 05 version 2. Of course, it does support XML configs. So it is created by burial. So the specifications about that mode, it has exporter compensations. Uh, it can give you more HDR frames. I think much more than 20, I think 35 or 40, we need to see it. It has something called, guys, light trail. Very handy when you want to shoot passing cars or shoot lights in a dark environment. It has also forced astrophotography, working with some bright source of lights. It has automatic white balance for separate lenses, provided you have RAD access and you have installed the Magis AUX mode, which means you can use the tele lens and also the photo lens. It has much more options in the lip patcher menu, which means that you can fine tune a lot of settings there, right? It has this horizontal line support. It has the live photos uh, and quick videos hidden, right? It has also Celebra enabled on the telephoto camera and this is particularly only for the Mi 9 T devices that's enabled here by default and it has some other quick settings there you know, how you can access the gallery and etc guys and this is really the Gcam the latest version of the Gcam burial mode is apparently version 6 here that's the chain log guys and because I'm a great citizen of YouTube I'm going to translate it for you so burial has added some different noise modeling thanks to Kurushi for that He's also added the option to choose the quality of the JPEG. So there is now a specific button for astrophotography, which is enabled into the night side when you go there. This is quite handy, we're gonna be looking for that one. Also, Sabre has been turned on, of course, when using the ultra wide lens. Stabilization of video has been removed because apparently it does not work. And also the maximum zoom from maximum 30 is now reduced to 10x because 10x is stable and everything beyond 10x makes your phone crash guys so that's why he removed that one and there are some other main fixes guys so without further ado let's download it install and test this gcam burial version 6. i am downloading it here and i am going to be putting the download links in the video description so please check the video description for the latest download link once it's downloaded we're going to install it run some tests see what the settings are and hopefully you are going to no i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say that you're gonna like the video and i'm not gonna say that you're going to subscribe to my channel because you're grown up guys and you you know what to do best right so um, who am i to tell you to subscribe to this channel guys nobody tells me either to subscribe to this or that channel right so you know what you know what the right thing is to be done okay now camera is almost downloaded and again you know what i'm gonna do right now because i know what i'm gonna do right now and right now i'm going to go there and remove the previous versions i do it all the time now you just can double press here go to app info then click for stop storage and cache clear storage right then go back and just press uninstall this will then make room for the new Google camera. Now the camera has been downloaded. When I just press on the APK, it will be installed. Do you want to install this application? No, I don't want. So let me just close off and forget about the video. Of course I want to. Installing it. It's gonna take a while, right? App installed all the time that I do. I just press it here. Now luckily I don't have any other cameras right now. So let's just start the Gcam burial version six. Allow camera to take pictures. Of course you need to press allow. Allow only when using the app, of course, press allow. Allow here as well, allow. Okay, now just go to settings and to show you that I'm not kidding, guys, we go to info and we just see here, Gcam 7.2 by Burial version six, okay? It's based again on the Ernix 05 version two camera. And here, guys, something important, when you go in on configs, right, you can apparently load configs to this camera. That's a whole other story. Let's just check the settings. Okay, settings. Preferable ISO time HDR, back camera ISO time HDR, front camera ISO time HDR. So right now it's on auto, but you can set this. This is the, I think you can also control this by just holding the gallery button like this. So you see, when I just hold the finger on the gallery button, I can set up apparently the back camera ISO to time HDR. Okay, so it's on auto right now. Going back to settings, 
We have settings for the photo, exposure compensation, HDR enhanced frame, so let's see, he enabled up to 45. So guys, choose this um, upon your own discretion. I say, or I would say that 15 to 20 is enough, 30 is really an overkill, 45, you don't know what you're doing, but it's a good. <laughs> so if you wanna get the best out of the HDR plus enhanced algorithm, then 45 is the go-to, but don't use it too often. Okay, then we have here Astromax exposure time, default we know 60, the biggest one, pixel out white balance in HDR plus enhanced, I turn it off on the back camera and I'm usually, you know, you can turn it off just to see how and what difference it's gonna make. I don't use it. Lip patcher, you can see we have a lot of options here and the settings that I told you at the beginning, a noise reduction model is added here. So you can apparently use the Google noise reduction model, but you can also go for the system noise reduction model. I don't have a clue which is better. So right now I'm gonna use the Google one. Enable lip patcher, lip patcher is now disabled. So I'm not using any XMLs, right? So I'm kind of like using the regular settings. When we go to advanced, we see camera photo resolution, keep it on full resolution, show dirty lens warning, set to on, HDR control, always set to on, RAW and JPEG control, guys, don't set it on because we know that this camera, the Google camera 7.2 has problems with RAW images, so it doesn't make sense. Disable zoom in portrait mode. Now I tend to disable this because I want to get faces zoomed when I do portraits. I think it utilizes only 1.5x zoom, so it's not a big zoom. Enable Google Photos, very important for me. I do it. Use hint font position related to horizon. So this is guys, when you're trying to shoot a lens, then the camera will give you some hints. Okay, you need to straighten it up a little bit or no. Height icon movement, okay, this is cool. Focus tracking, this is also cool. Use Sabre, improve detail. It's not supported by all cameras, but for now we leave it like this. AEC controlling night sight, force asset photography, the max exposure time has been also set for the back camera. Then you have zoom image and okay, now by default is one. In this camera, the maximum zoom is just 10x because 30x is not stable and Burrell decided to remove it. Then we have compression of JPEG. This was also in the change log guys. So now you should always choose here 100%. We don't want to get our image quality ruined. Okay, and Arc Scanner, guys. I'm saying this for maybe 1000 time already. If you don't have root on your phone and if you don't have the magic AOX module that enables the use of telephoto and wide lens in Google camera, just do like me. Press show button, remove the buttons, you don't need them. Because if you choose the Arc camera without having the mood, the camera will crash, so you need to clear the cache and run it again. All right, guys, going back here. So in the video, we have ultra high video resolution 4K. Let's put it like this. 4K time lapse. we can also put it like this. Store videos efficiently. I want to use this because H.265 is really reducing the file size. Maximum script brightness, I don't use this. Save location is cool. Google camera sounds, not so cool. Google lens suggestion is cool. Framing hint is also cool. Cell save is previewed, why not? Social share, I do remove this one, I don't like it. Then we have gestures. Then we have grid type, I use 3x3, three three, frequent faces off, and this is pretty much it. Let's just go back guys in the night side, where I expect to see a button, as in the change lock, and actually this is it guys, you see? This is really a crazy feature guys. Here you have a button to enable the astro photography or disable it, and you have a button to enable the light rays or disable it, okay? Just like this. So guys, if you go to the night side, if you want to shoot something just with using like regular night side, just use the shutter button. If you want to force astrophotography, just hit the button here. If you want to use light ray, just do it like this. Light drawing mold on, and maybe you can even use both. And now let's do some testing, some testing samples. I'm gonna take a picture of this kiss here. Let's see what happens. Let's actually just choose here HDR plus. Okay, taking an HDR extended photo. Wait for some processing. Not bad at all. It's not bad at all, guys. Usually, you know, in these sections here, I used to shoot some small toys, but right now, because of, uh, yeah, you know what happens, Copa, etc., I don't want to put a lot of toys because then YouTube might decide that my video is made for kids, and you know that my videos are not made for kids. And with that said, let me try to shoot also this one here, which is a night lamp. Let's just try it like this. I do like that one because it has some transparency. Uh, because it's glass and yeah, I mean level of details guys very good. I think very nice result So I don't have the time to test it in the night, but I'm sure that it's gonna be quite capable So guys, this has been the GCam Burl version 6 I hope that you do like it and I hope that you're gonna do the right thing by not liking and subscribing to my video So go somewhere else go and subscribe to somebody else and not to my channel Okay, don't do that. That was a joke. VST, bye!